Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your gameplay and performance in all new Overwatch Season 10. It has been dropped recently, so make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that open up settings on your PC and over here you'll find game bar. Simply turn this thing off, game bar consumes a lot of processes in the background and disabling so will help you to get better FPS. Then go back to gaming, go over to game mode and turn this thing on. It helps you by turning things off in the background allowing you to get better FPS. Right beneath that you'll also find graphic settings, simply open it up and then click on change default graphic settings, enable hardware exclusive GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Both of them turned on will utilize your GPU for rendering the game as well as reduce your input latency. After that go back to graphics and then click on this browse button and then locate your Overwatch 2 installed on your PC. For me, Overwatch 2 is installed right over here, so simply click on add and it is already added in my list. Simply search for it, go over to options and then select high performance and click on save. Also go down to windows update and make sure that your windows is always up to date. If not, you can always download the latest update on your PC and it will keep your PC up to date. Step number two is deanimating your windows. A windows by default has a ton of animations and disabling them will help you to increase your FPS in the games. And for that, I'd suggest you guys to go to adjust the appearance and performance of windows and right over here, select for adjust for best performance. Then simply click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. These will minimize the look of your windows, but it will help you to increase the FPS by a bit. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 53.78 but on this sale you can get it for 21.75 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 16.31. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is setting up your virtual memory and for that go over to the advanced section over here. Then you'll find virtual memory. Simply click on change, deselect automatic manage paging file size, select custom size and then for the initial size set it to 1361 that is a little bit over 1 GB. And the maximum size you can set this thing to half of your total memory. So for that you have to search for system information on your PC. Take a look on install physical memory that is 32 GB. Now open up calculator and multiply your memory with 1024 and you will get the value right over here. So it is 32768. This is my memory in megabytes. Now what you have to do is simply divide this whole value by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to paste in the maximum size. This is the most optimal way for setting your virtual memory. Simply click on set, click on OK and that should be done. Next step is system configuration and for that open up system configuration on your PC and right over here go to the boot section, click on advanced option, click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor available for your PC, then click on OK. After that, go over to the services section, select hide all Microsoft services and then over here, disable all unwanted fan related and RGB related services that you do not really need. And you can also disable some browser services such as Brave, Epson printer service, Furmark service, benchmarking service and so much more. Disabling these services will help you to run less service and it will also help you to decrease your booting time. Once that is done, simply click on apply. Next step is defragging your hard disk or SSD and for that you have to search for defrag and optimize drives and once it opens up select your local disk C this is a drive which you are most concerned about and if it is an SSD you have to click on optimize and it will start trimming your SSD it will help you to free up the unconsumed storage of your SSD and it will help you to increase your FPS and for hard disk drive if you have a HDD you can simply click on analyze and it will start analyzing it and then click on optimize and it will start defragmenting your hard disk drive. Defragmenting your HDD and trimming your SSD will optimally help you to get better FPS. 
After that, in the schedule optimization, click on change settings and then run this schedule daily and then click on OK. Next step is fixing all of your internet issues using NoPing. NoPing is a one-stop solution to fix all of your packet loss, ping issues, latency, and so much more. You can simply download it from the link in the description below. Once you open it up, the application should look like this. And over here, it has over 1000 games to choose from. You can simply look up for Overwatch 2 right over here. Click on select the server and then select the nearest server to you. For me, the nearest server will be Pune03. Simply click on optimize this game and it will one click optimize your game right away. Noping helps you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers that ultimately helps you to fix all of your lags, input latency, packet loss, ping and so much more. The best part about this application is right over here in the settings gear, it offers you turbo boost. Enabling turbo games will help you to decrease your keyboard response time, ultimately allowing you to decrease your input latency. And then you have boost FPS, simply enable it and turn on all of these options while you're playing the game. So it will automatically disable all unwanted services in the background that will help you to fix your FPS as well. Once again, no ping is a pro's choice and you can never go wrong with it. You can go check it out from the link in the description below for yourself. Next step is creating a restore point and for that you have to search for create a restore point on your PC. Once you're here, select your local disk C, click on create and name it OW2 just so you can remember it from. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because if you want to revert all settings back to normal without any data loss, you can always do it with this restore point. Once it is done, simply click on close and then close the system properties. Next step is the Overwatch 2 Season 10 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply open this pack up and in here you'll find five simple folders. First one is the CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. So if you have an AMD CPU, you can run the AMD CPU priority. If you have an Intel CPU, you can run the Intel CPU priority. Then you have RAM optimization. Once again, I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to run this one. You can simply double click to run it. However, I have left a ton of pre sets right over here and also a reset to default just in case you want to reset it back to normal. Then you have Overwatch 2 priority and for this you need to comment your PC specifications down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one that you have to choose. Once again according to my PC I need to use the medium priority but it can be different for you so do leave your PC specs in the comments below. Next folder is unwanted services and right over here I have left a ton of services that you can disable on your PC to get extra FPS. And to do that, you can simply double click and run all of them. And once again, if you want to enable them, you can always do it from this revert registry folder. Last is the batch optimization in which I have left clean temporary files, disable memory compression. And last one is the disable mitigations. You have to right click and run this as administrator. And it will ask you to delete all temporary files on your PC. You can simply press any key and it will start deleting all of them. Don't worry, this is completely safe and it does not delete any important file from your PC. Next is disable memory compression and it helps you to reduce the number of services running in the background, ultimately allowing your CPU to function more properly. And this is super beneficial. It helps you to run a command that is this one that you do not have to manually run on your PC. So it will automatically execute this. Last is a disable mitigation and it will also help you to reduce the load on your CPU and it will keep your PC in much optimal condition whenever you're playing the game. So once you have run all three of them, you're done with the FE spec, simply close it up and open up your game for the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then go over to options. Then over here in the video settings for the display mode, make sure that it is full screen. Your targeted resolution is your native resolution. Then your FOV should be 103, aspect ratio should be your native aspect ratio. Dynamic render scale, turn this thing on. And then maximum in-game resolution, set this thing to 90. And then minimum in-game resolution, set this thing to 75. Frame rate limit, set this thing to custom. Desired frame rate limit should be your frame rate limit of your monitor mine is 237 so i'll set this thing to 237 and it should be set to desired and maximum then you have vsync turn this thing off triple buffering off reduced buffering on nvidia reflex enabled plus boost gamma correction contrast and brightness is a personal preference hdr i have turned this thing off then in the graphics quality all of my graphics quality is set to medium except some of these such as the texture quality i've set this thing to medium texture filtering quality i have set this thing to low local fog detail medium dynamic reflection off shadow detail low model detail medium effect detail low lightning quality low anti-aliasing quality low fx aa then you have refraction quality medium screenshot quality i have set it into 5x ambient occlusion off local reflexes on and damage fx low 
Then you have details in which I have turned on show temperature, VRAM usage, network latency and interpolation delay. Once that is done, simply press on Y to apply. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash your subscribe button. If you guys are new to the channel, you can get the membership. It really helps me out a lot. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.